Trekkers Travels presents an exclusive guide to the city of love and light, Paris, France. Known as the heartbeat of Europe, Paris is a city that thrives on its rich history, unique culture, and exquisite cuisine. It's a city that's been enchanting visitors for centuries with its cobblestone streets, iconic landmarks, and irresistible charm. But Paris is more than just the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. It's a city of hidden gems and off-the-beaten-path adventures. That's where we come in. Our mission is to provide you with a comprehensive guide that goes beyond the typical tourist track. We'll take you from the bustling Champs-Élysées to the artistic haven of Montmartre, offering insider tips and tricks along the way. Whether you're a seasoned globetrotter or planning your first trip abroad, this guide is designed to help you experience Paris like never before. Without further ado, let's dive into the heart of Paris and embark on this unforgettable journey. Our first stop is none other than the world-renowned Eiffel Tower. This iron lattice structure, standing tall at 330 meters, is a testament to human ingenuity and architectural prowess. Named after Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower, it was initially criticized by some of France's leading artists and intellectuals for its design. However, it has since become a global cultural icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. Constructed as the entrance to the 1889 exposition Universelle, the Eiffel Tower has been a beacon of Parisian pride for over a century. With its intricate latticework and majestic height, it's no surprise that it's the most visited paid monument in the world. A visit to the Iron Lady is a journey through time. As you ascend, you're taken back to the late 19th century, when the tower was constructed. It's a tangible connection to the past, a link between the then and now. If you're planning a visit, here's a tip. The Eiffel Tower is most crowded in the late morning and afternoon, so for a more leisurely experience, consider visiting early in the morning or late in the evening. To avoid standing in long queues, you might want to buy your tickets online in advance. Once you're at the top, you'll be rewarded with a breathtaking view that's worth every step. The city of Paris unfolds before your eyes, its iconic landmarks peppered across the landscape. From the Sacre Coeur on its hillock to the shining Seine River that snakes through the city, the view is nothing short of spectacular. On a clear day, you might even spot the distant Montmartre and the Grand Arc de Triomphe. And remember, the Eiffel Tower is not just about the view from the top. The journey upwards, the anticipation, the historical exhibits, and the very structure itself all contribute to a unique and unforgettable experience. The Eiffel Tower is a must-visit, an icon that encapsulates the charm and elegance of Paris. The Iron Lady stands tall and proud, a symbol of the city's rich history and its timeless allure. Next, we explore the world's largest art museum and a historic monument in Paris, the Louvre Museum. A grand palace brimming with over 35,000 works of art, the Louvre is a treasure trove of human creativity, a testament to our collective journey through time. Among its extensive collection, one portrait stands out, the enigmatic Mona Lisa. This masterpiece by Leonardo da Vinci, with her cryptic smile and mysterious gaze, has captivated the world for centuries. Yet, the Louvre is much more than just the home of Mona Lisa. It houses an astounding array of artwork and historical artifacts from various periods and regions around the globe. The Louvre is a labyrinth of culture and history, spanning from antiquity to the 21st century. But worry not, as navigating this massive museum can be simplified with a bit of preparation. It's advisable to plan your visit in advance and decide which exhibits you absolutely want to see. The museum's official website provides a detailed map and descriptions of the collections to help you chart your course. But don't just stick to the beaten path. The Louvre is chock full of lesser known sections that are equally fascinating. For instance, the Department of Islamic Art showcases a stunning collection of artifacts spanning 13 centuries and three continents. The Napoleon III apartments, on the other hand, offer a glimpse into the opulent lifestyle of 19th century French aristocracy. Moreover, the Louvre itself is an architectural marvel. Its iconic glass pyramid entrance, designed by I.M. Pei, is a striking blend of modern and classic design, symbolizing the museum's commitment to preserving the past while embracing the future. A visit to the Louvre is not just about viewing art, it's about experiencing the profound narrative of human civilization, understanding our shared heritage and appreciating the beauty of our diverse cultures. A visit to the Louvre Museum is like stepping into a time machine, offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of human history and culture. 
Now we venture into the artistic heart of the city, Montmartre, home to the majestic Sacre Coeur. This is not just any neighborhood in Paris. Montmartre, with its bohemian spirit and artistic legacy, has a charm that is hard to resist. It's as if you've stepped into a different era, where creativity and passion blend seamlessly with everyday life. This is where renowned artists like Picasso and Van Gogh once roamed, drawing inspiration from the vibrant life around them. Speaking of art, Montmartre's street art is nothing short of mesmerizing. It's a living, breathing gallery that transforms ordinary walls into extraordinary canvases. Each piece tells a story, making a stroll through these streets a journey of discovery. Yet Montmartre is not all bohemian vibes and street art. It's also home to the Sacre Coeur, a stunning basilica perched atop the highest point in the city. As you ascend the steps leading to this white-domed marvel, prepare to be greeted by a panoramic view of Paris that is nothing short of breathtaking. But don't just admire Sacre Coeur from the outside, step inside and you'll find yourself in a space that exudes tranquility and reverence. The mosaic of Christ with outstretched arms, one of the largest in the world, is a sight to behold. After feasting your eyes on the artistic and spiritual wonders of Montmartre and Sacre Coeur, it's time to savor some local flavors. The neighborhood is dotted with charming cafes and bakeries. Try the croissants at Le Coquelico or the escargot pastry at Arnaud del Montel. They're local favorites. For a unique shopping experience, check out the boutiques and vintage shops scattered around the area. You might find a one-of-a-kind souvenir or a piece of art that catches your eye. Montmartre and Sacre Coeur offer a unique blend of artistic flair and spiritual tranquility that is truly captivating. This is a corner of Paris where you can feel the city's heart beating, its soul breathing. It's a place that invites you to explore, to discover, and to be inspired. Finally, we stroll down one of the most famous avenues in the world, Champs-Élysées, leading us to the magnificent Arc de Triomphe. Let's start with the Champs-Élysées, known as La Plus Belle Avenue du Monde or the most beautiful avenue in the world. This two-kilometer stretch is more than just a street. It's a symbol of French elegance and history. Once a swamp, it was transformed in the late 17th century into a grand avenue adorned with lush trees and gardens. Today, it's lined with luxury shops, theaters, and cafes buzzing with life day and night. But remember, it's not just a shopping destination. It's a place where history has been written. Every year, it sees the joyful chaos of the Tour de France finale and the solemn march of the Bastille Day military parade. And at the end of this remarkable avenue stands the Arc de Triomphe, an unmistakable symbol of French national identity. Commissioned by Napoleon after his victory at Austerlitz in 1805, it stands as a monument to the armies of the Revolution and the Empire. The intricate reliefs on its pillars tell stories of victorious battles, and the names etched on the inner and outer surfaces pay tribute to the generals and soldiers who fought for France. Visiting the Arc de Triomphe is an experience. The best time to visit? Twilight. As the sun sets, the city lights begin to twinkle, and the panoramic view from the top is simply breathtaking. You'll see the 12 radiating avenues including the Champs-Élysées and beyond, the city of Paris unfolding in all its splendor. So, when you find yourself standing beneath the towering Arc de Triomphe, take a moment. Look up at the monument that has watched over Paris through revolutions, wars, and times of peace. Feel the pulse of history and the vibrant energy of the city that beats around you. The Champs-Élysées and Arc de Triomphe are a testament to the grandeur and elegance that define Paris. This concludes our guide to exploring the enchanting city of Paris. We've journeyed through the breathtaking heights of the Eiffel Tower, delved into the rich history at the Louvre Museum, and soaked up the artistic ambiance of Montmartre and Sacre Coeur. Not forgetting our stroll along the world-renowned Champs-Élysées, culminating at the majestic Arc de Triomphe. In this city of love and light, every corner turned unravels a new story, a new memory to be made. It's a city that's alive, that breathes with the rhythm of its history and the pulse of its people. And we hope that this guide has given you a taste of what Paris has to offer, and that it will serve as a helpful companion on your own journey through this remarkable city. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Trekkers Travels for more travel guides. Until next time, keep exploring.